Do you want to know how to use smart links in Metricool? In the next few minutes, I'm going to answer the question, what are smart links? And show you how to use Metricool Instagram links for your e-commerce business. My name is Elise Nelson, and I help tech challenge makers build a profitable e-commerce brand. Thanks for joining me on my YouTube channel where I offer lessons that are 15 minutes or less to help you grow your e-commerce shop. In this short video, I'm going to share with you how to add smart links using Metricool. But before we jump into this maker lesson, I'd love to know if you've ever heard of smart links or Linktree. Have you ever considered using them before? Leave a comment and let me know. All right, so in a few minutes, we're going to discuss whether or not it is a good idea to use smart links for your e-commerce business. And what I say may surprise you, but first, I want to cr help you create your first smart links. So here we are in Metricool. You're going to click on smart links and it'll say create your first smart links. We're going to click on that. And over here is going to show you what this smart link is going to look like. You're able to choose a name for your smart link and you can change out the URL if you would like to. Basically, this is showing me my three buttons right here. And it's showing me my three icons for social media right here. And you have the ability to move these by clicking and dragging and reorganizing them. You can also add additional buttons, sections, and icons. So I'm going to show you what that is. Adding a section is basically like adding a title. So I'm going to click on add section. And then like, let's say I wanted this to be up here. So you can see now here's the header section. That's my section. So like I might put welcome. Where would you like to go? And so this is like my introduction to my brand, okay? And it's saying, you know, where do you want to go? I've got my buttons here. Then I can clone things if I want to. I can delete them. Um, if I want to add another button, I can click add button. You can see if another button has come up here. Now you can change your text color and background here, but I would recommend not doing this until you look at your appearance and decide what appearance to use because any changes you make with your colors here are going to be overridden by your appearance later. So I would go ahead and get your buttons all lined up first. So put everything in here that you want it to be. Uh, make sure you got your URL, what you want it to say. Shop all products. And then maybe this one is um, about us. Maybe this one is join our Facebook group. Whatever you want those to say. And then of course change out your URL. You also have the option of disabling these. So for example, I do live shopping shows for my Carry Clips brand. And if I don't have a live shopping show come up, I might want to disable the link so that it's not there. And then when I have one coming, I can re-enable it and put the URL. So that is something that is really nice um, as far as this goes. So that's where you're going to put all of your, your buttons and your um, sections. And then down here, there's several different icons you can choose from. So you can put any of these icons. Um, and then put the link for those as well. And then they will show up as these little icons here at the bottom. So that is how to actually add your buttons. That's the button section. You can also go to the media section. So here you're going to be able to import images to show below all this other stuff. So you can add it from your computer. You can add it from a video. You can add it from Instagram. The easiest way to find these images for me is going to be to add from Instagram. So I'm going to click on that one. And then any of the images from your post, you're going to be able to select them. So let's say we wanted to have these six posts and we're going to hit add selected. And it'll actually import these images and you can see they're showing right here. And then you can change out the URL. Now it does not bring in the URL for the post. So if you wanted these images to be the ones from your post, you would need to open Instagram in another tab and then find those specific posts. So if I click on this, Here's my URL for that post. So I can actually copy it, come back over here and put it here. And now when someone clicks on this picture, it'll go to that post on Instagram. These do not have to be Instagram posts though. You could put an image here that takes them to your website or takes them to whatever. So you have the option of having buttons, um, icons or images. And you can have all three, you can have just one of these, you can have two of them, whatever you want to do. And you can change the URL to where it goes when they click on them right here on this um, media section or the button section. Now our third section here is our appearance section. And this is where I can choose what I want it to look like. So let's say I wanted to select this one. You can see all my buttons changed colors based upon that particular appearance. But if I don't want them to be these colors, I can now go back to my buttons section and I can change my background to be, say, this. 
And so after you've chosen your appearance, you can come back and you can tweak these and change these out, okay? So you have options here as well, okay? So, but I would not change them here until you've chosen your appearance because otherwise it's gonna get reset when you choose an appearance. You can also come down further. You can change the header image. So like this is my logo. And let's say I didn't want it to have the white background because it looks bad. I could change this to one that has a transparent background and that way if I chose a different background, it would be good. You can also change the title here. So like if I wanted this one to say, welcome. Oh, so I would actually say welcome. And then I would say, where would you like to go? And you could even, if you wanted to make different ones of these, if you have a paid account with Metricool, you could say, welcome Instagrammer. And they would know that they that you were talking specifically to them because they came from Instagram. So you would have to have a different one of these for each different place. So you might say, welcome. I don't know what you would call someone that likes Twitter, but whatever, you get the idea. Um, so in this case, because I put this up here in my header, I don't need it here. So I would have to then come back to my buttons and delete that one. And I actually think this is a better choice because you can see it moves all my buttons up higher. So using your appearance, um, header, title, and description is actually a better place to put that content. But let's say you wanted to separate these buttons out. If I go back to my buttons, I can add a section and I can put it between the buttons. So maybe you want you know this to be here and this will be shop. And then you could put shop all dresses. So then you could separate this out. Or maybe this one is follow us. And then here you could say Twitter, Facebook, right? Or whatever. Um, same thing, let's say I didn't want these two buttons. I can have the follow us be above these icons, which is actually a really good way to do it as well. So that's how you're gonna kind of use those different sections and parts. So let's go ahead and go back to appearance because there's still a little bit more here. So you can also change your text color here. So let's say we wanted all of the text to be white, which actually is terrible with this background, so I wouldn't recommend that, but you get the idea. Um, and then you can also change your background color here. So let's say we wanted this to be, well, personally, if I was doing this, I would make it be white because my um, logo has a white background and I just think that would look better. But you can change this however you want. You can also do a gradient background. You can put an image in the background. My suggestion is always going to be to err on the side of less is more um, because it's going to look better long term if you do it that way. So um, you can also change if you want to have an outline or not. So this could be a fill instead of an outline. You can change the roundness of your buttons so to be more square or to be more round. Um, and then if you are doing the outline, you also have the option of having a shadow like that. So let's say we were gonna go with the fill button like so, make it as simple as possible. And then on your images, you can actually feature the last one that's in there. So if I click on this button, you can see now that one is giant. If I uncheck it, everything is the same size. So that's an option. You can also change the number of columns to be four or two or one. Um, this looks like Instagram. So if you're going to use your Instagram, I would probably leave it this way, but if you're not, you can totally make it so it's one image and then you have a long series like this. I'm gonna do it like so. Um, you can change the gap size between the images. So I personally like it when it's smaller. And you can also change your image roundness, again, to be a square versus more of a circular. Um, this looks more like Instagram to me, so I would probably do it this way if I was using Instagram as my images. And so this is what you can do to change up what your um, smart link looks like. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and hit save. And I wanna show you how you can have more than one smart link. So now we have saved this one. And if I click here, you can see I only have one available, but I can clone this one. I can add a new one or I can delete it. So let's go ahead and clone this one. And we're gonna say accept. And you can see it says copy of carry clip. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hit save and have it be the same. But now I've saved this. So if I click here on my downloads, I now have two different versions, okay? So you have the ability to have more than one if you are on a paid Metrical account. If you're on a free account, you can only have one. Um, so that's how to get to your smart links. Before we jump into the rest of this lesson, please like this video. Also, be sure to stick with me to the end of the video to learn your challenge for today so that you can implement what you have learned. 
let's go ahead and jump right into our analytics. So I'm gonna click on our analytics right here. And with our analytics, we can look at our visits. We, so this is gonna tell us how many people came to our smart link. We can look at the total button clicks. So this is how many people clicked one of our buttons. And then we can look at our total image clicks. So this is gonna be how many people clicked on our images. Um, and then down below, it actually evaluates each individual thing. So here I can see how many people clicked this specific button and what the click-through rate is, which is going to be the percentage of people who clicked through. So if 100 people saw this page and only one of them clicked through, my click-through rate would be 1%. You can also view the evolution. So if you click on that, it will open up and it will show you for each day how many people clicked. So you'll be able to see, maybe you had some big special come out that posted on January 29th and you have 100 clicks here and then zero the rest of the days. It's a way for you to tell exactly when people clicked on that. Now, if you want more help with your e-commerce brand, be sure to subscribe and sign up for notifications on this YouTube channel where I offer lessons that are 15 minutes or less to help you grow your e-commerce shop. All right, so now it's time for the big question. Should you use smart links? So I broke this down into some pros and cons so that you can kind of really evaluate whether this is something you wanna use for your brand. So the pros of using smart links is that you can get individual button or and or image click data. It's very easy to break down. You can see it very quickly by just looking at your analytics right here in the smart link um, feature on Metricool. It also allows you to have more links than just the one that is allowed for, for um, platforms like Instagram. Because on Instagram, you cannot put clickable links on your posts. So what you end up having to do is you end up having to say, click link in bio. If they go to your bio, you only get one place to go. By using something like smart links, you are able to take that one link and turn it into as many links as you want. And then finally, this is an easy way to change up your call to action. So you can have that one link on Instagram, lead them to multiple calls to action. So one day you're posting about you know, this specific product that they should buy. And another day you're posting about how they should support this particular charity. And both of those calls to action can be in your smart links, even though you only get that one link in your um, profile. Now cons of using smart links or link tree or any other thing that is similar to this is that you do not get pixel or tag tracking from your website. When you send someone to your website and you have Google Analytics set up and you have your Facebook pixel set up, you are able to retarget those people with ads and get all of their information about what they looked at on your website and what they did and all of these things. And you don't get that when you use something like someone else's website, which is what a smart link is. This is Metricool's website they're going to. So you're not going to get that data for your Google account, for your Facebook account, for any of these things. You also um, are not gonna get the data in Google Analytics about which social media they came from. So even if they come to your smart link and then they click on, say this shop all products button, when they do that, they are going to go to your website but you're not gonna be able to tell which social media platform they came from because according to Google Analytics, they came from this Metricool smart link or your Linktree um, account. And so you're not gonna get that information about what social media they came from, which can be very valuable in helping you determine which social media accounts get you the most sales and therefore which accounts you should really double down on. So let's come back to that initial question. Should you be using smart links? My gut reaction is that if you have a website, you should not be using smart links. Instead, you should create a similar page on your website and direct your traffic to your site. So you can go on your own website and create a page that looks very similar to this. Do that and send them there. And then when they go to the website, you will be able to pixel them, Google Analytics them, you'll be able to tell what social media they came from, all of these things that you need that you want to have data on for your business. However, if you do not have a website, then by all means, yes, you should absolutely use smart links because it gives you the flexibility to make specific offers to your customers and have more links. So depending upon if you have a website or not is going to determine which course of action you should take with regards to smart links. I personally do not use smart links because I have a smart link like or a link tree like thing set up on my website. Now today's question was, have you ever heard of smart links or Linktree? And have you ever considered using them before? Leave a comment and let me know. 
Make sure that you watch my last YouTube video about how to improve your TikTok marketing strategy using analytics to increase engagement. In the next video, we'll be discussing how to use metrical messages to manage communications with your customers. If you're ready to give Metricool a try, be sure to click the link in the description to sign up and try the free account right now. Your challenge for today is that if you have your own website, let this Metricool tutorial inspire you to create a landing page of your own right on your website. Make it look like what you can do right here in SmartLinks. If you don't have your own website, jump right in and create your first SmartLink with Metricool. Don't forget to live your dream every single day, and I will see you in the next video.